Oh, <laughs> I didn't see you there. Welcome. Glad that you made it. Why don't you pour yourself a chair and pull up a cup of coffee? Uh, you know what I mean. I'm Mark Chevy, which you probably know since you, you made it here. And the reason for this video is so that we can get to know each other a little bit. And if at any time it gets boring or you don't want to watch it, it's, it's optional, so you can turn it off. But the reason that it's good to do something like this is so that you know a little bit about my background and that way you know what to expect from me and what not to expect. If you want me to teach you neuroscience or something like that because you know, you're know you in a health communication course, I know communication, but I'm not really a neuroscience expert. We can go to neuroscience experts to, to provide information if we need information about that. I also want to just be able to introduce myself so that you might uh, feel more comfortable and introducing yourself and sharing more about your experiences and your expertise. We all have experiences and expertise that others don't have. I have some that you don't have, you have some that I don't have, and I'm hoping that we can learn from each other. So a little bit of background. I went to Michigan Tech, Michigan Technological University, if you want to use the formal title, title for my freshman year of college, and I studied biology. I really love science. And my dad was a math major at Northern Michigan University. And my mom was an art major, which I think maybe is why I have really taken an interest into taking scientific approaches to the arts or artistic approaches to science and trying to integrate them. Uh, you'll see in my research later on. But um, so I w went to North, uh, Michigan Tech for biology. And while I was there, I did some work in student radio and really liked that and ended up changing my major to telecommunications and went down to Michigan State University where I met my now wife and um, graduated with a, a bachelor's there in, in telecommunications with minors in German. I hear a seagull. I'm outside. By the way, an incentive to keep watching as well is that you might hear or see a hummingbird go by. They've been flying around. Reminds me a little little story of my from my grandfather. <clears throat> Do you know why hummingbirds hum? Because they don't know the words. That's also a bad habit of mine, and I'll try not to do it too much, but uh, they used to be called puns, now people are calling them dad jokes. However you call it. Um, forgive me for that. It, it's a bad habit. Anyway, Michigan Tech, biology, student radio, transferred to Michigan State, graduated, uh, minors in German, aerospace studies, which was actually Air, For Air Force ROTC, uh, which is le leadership and management. So from there, I went into the Air Force and did some training in California and then was stationed in Cheyenne, Wyoming as a missile combat crew commander for ICBM nuclear missiles. And I worked my way up from lieutenant up to captain. I was an instructor for a while, worked at the squadron command post. And that gave me a good perspective because every other job I've had since then, if I make a mistake or even if you make a mistake, I can say, at least it's not the end of the world. And I can really mean it because when I was working with nuclear missiles, it really could have been. Uh, so, I, while I was working on, uh, in the Air Force, I was also working on my master's degree at, Col at Fort Collins, uh, at Colorado State University in Fort Collins. And um, the master's that I earned there was in technical journalism. So when I got out of the Air Force, had my master's degree, I um, worked in television news for a while, I worked at Echostar, uh, Dish Network for a while. And you know, at the TV station, um, you didn't. I didn't get paid a whole lot, so I decided it was time to switch and do a little trafficking. You know, a little, little more higher income. Oh, it's not the kind of trafficking that you might be thinking of. That was over at Echo Star Business Television, where I, I was in charge of the business television trafficking, arranging what broadcasts when I, at what times and on what channels. That kind of trafficking. <clears throat> Anyway, so I um, went from TV news to Echo Star, uh, worked as a director of ministries at a church for a while, and then ended up uh, getting a full ride scholarship to University of Wisconsin Madison in their School of Journalism to study uh, mass communication for my PhD. And while I was there, I took classes in my, my focus area was in the psychological effects of mass communication. So I took courses in communication, but also uh, from the educational psychology department, uh, some courses in developmental psychology, 
a lot of statistics courses. And then I also took courses in um, music, from the music program that they had there, and composition and music theory, musicology, because I wanted to, my real interest from being in video and audio production, here's that art and science thing was, I really liked the art of creating it, multimedia messages, but I always had questions of what music should I put here? What does it matter what people are saying? And just that love for music kept coming up. It's like, what happens if you put this word with this kind of music? And what if you change the style of the music and put these words, does it change the meaning? And so I wanted to combine those two and that's what I did with my master's degree and then I continued studying that with my PhD. So that's my main area of research. Well, after getting my PhD, I went out to Idaho. I don't know, Idaho. Uh, and I taught for two years at Boise State University. That They're known for having the blue turf at the time. It was called the Smurf turf. They had a big football stadium. Had some great memories. I'd fly fish in the Boise River while the marching band was practicing out uh, in their stadium and so I had like this live music while I'm fly fishing and hoping I might catch a salmon that had come all the way up hundreds of miles from the Pacific Ocean and I loved it but um, Northern Michigan University called after a couple of years and asked whether I wanted to come and teach at Northern Michigan and my family was in Michigan and I've always loved the UP so I moved to Northern Michigan University as a, an assistant professor and then made it to associate professor and then to full professor while continuing on doing my research in the psychology of mass media and then also have been working on creating audio and video projects you know actually creating messages and what I'm hoping to do is be able to use the psychology to inform and guide the creation of media to create more powerful impactful message messages uh, that can achieve goals so that leads to um, an, an area that I'm getting into is health communication my advisor at the PhD program was a well-established health communication researcher and so I was able to work with him and see how you apply the psychology of media to health communication situations and um, I'm, that sparked my interest years ago and now I'm, I'm developing that where I am getting together with other health professionals. I have a lot of um, colleagues and friends and family who are doctors and nurses and other specialists in the field and so combining my communication expertise with their health expertise seeing if we can uh, come up with some better ways of taking care of people and I'm hoping that as as you join me that's what we can do is we can learn together how to take care better care of ourselves but how to take better care of other people well I think I have talked for enough and I'm hoping that I'll get to know you a little bit and um, enjoy your coffee and, uh, you know, feel free to hang out and relax a little bit. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, this is getting awkward. You can take off if you want to. Did you see any hummingbirds? One did fly by, but it was behind you, so I don't know. If you... All right, well... I'm going to go.